I'm in the Oculus browser here. So just to confirm, this is Web VR. Um, I haven't download, downloaded anything, and I'm in uh, Mozilla's Web VR experience. Um, I'm going to enter that right now, and there we are. You are immersed in 360 degrees in this environment, and you've got your controllers there, left and right. Obviously, the laser on the right allows you to move. So what do we have here? Aim your controller and press the trigger to teleport around and interact with objects. We currently have three rooms and five experiences to explore. Try them all. So we will be trying them all throughout these upcoming videos. But for the moment, we're going to jump across to some art because to speak English well, and in particular to sit an English exam, you're going to be able, or you should be able to talk clearly about photos, images, and pictures. So. This is one called the pink robe. You can zoom in as I'm doing here and look at the emotions of the people on the face. You could describe the clothes. Maybe, for example, this lady is not wearing shoes. She is barefoot or barefooted. Um, she is not wearing any uh, footwear. Uh, however, on the other hand, the gentleman to her uh, left or to our right is wearing sandals, white robes. You can see a loving look on their faces. And uh, yeah, that's just a quick flavor of how you could uh, use an environment like this to stimulate the way people describe photographs. As I said, really important for English learning. So this is called the Garden of Earthly Delights, uh, painted about 500 years ago. Really colorful imagery where you can zoom in again and get students to pick out key things they're seeing. So uh, there's a lot of strange stuff going on here. A lot of birds, colorful wings, multicolored birds. We have somebody hugging, cuddling uh, an owl there near the water you could get students to talk about the backgrounds we have, have the foreground near the front the background as well is a key thing that they would need to talk about in an exam and uh, lots of things flying in the sky the sky is cloudless there are no clouds or very little cloud cover you have animals flying high in the sky and in the distance you've got some farm animals moving towards the foreground again you can see some more birds colorful peacocks people uh, all in white holding out branches giving things to one another and we're going to pop across now to this self-portrait by Rembrandt um, about 350 years ago get a real sense of the type of language that they could use to describe by zooming into his face so his weary eyes maybe there are wrinkles under his eyes or bags under his eyes he has a small goatee beard um, you can see his curly wispy gray or dark hair popping over to the final pictures here we have the dance lessons so again you could talk about the emotions of the people what does this person look like could you describe the emotions for example keyword she is down downtrodden maybe in a dark mood somber mood melancholic and again you've got some other dancers here in the background wearing their tutus i think is what we'd say so that's just a quick look at how you could use photos, images or pictures within these web VR experiences to improve the way that your students build their English language skills. And I'll see you next time.